Hi guys, Mr. Awfulfuls here. Strange things are happening. First of all, quickly, I'm doing a giveaway with Elgato right now, so you can win a custom HD60S via the link in the description down below. Go enter that. But the main event right now is that the DLC 1 trailer for Call of Duty World War 2 is already out. What? It's the 19th of December. Have they got their calendars wrong? They think it's January or something? What is going on? We're just gonna react to it. I haven't seen it yet. It's a bit bizarre that it's out now, but I mean, bring it on. Let's see, we're at the beginning, we're ready to go. I'm gonna get it into full screen. And begin. Call of Duty World War II was about honoring the story of the world's costliest war. Okay. And with the Resistance DLC pack, we really get to continue that story. This next chapter really puts you in the heart of being a Resistance fighter. So we're really gonna take you from three iconic Resistance-themed maps, a brand new War MP map, and our next chapter of Nazi Zombies. For yes. the DLC season, we are very much pulling from historical reference to try to make a really holistic DLC theme. Show me the zombies. Early on, Resistance was something that really struck a chord with the team. It was something that we were really passionate about. We got a real taste for it in the single player campaign. Tonight, we take back our city. These were not just your standard soldiers. These were civilians. These were everyday people who were fighting on the Allied side. People were in disguises. They were underground. Clandestine operations took place in speakeasies like this around yeah. Europe, where they tried to disrupt the Axis and German war machine. Click. There's so many ways to resist, and there are so many different types of resistance uh, efforts, from the German resistance to the Czech resistance to the French resistance. Okay. So each operated differently. We're depicting that in each map. Our first map is Valkyrie, set in Prussia, Hitler's Wolf's Lair. Ooh. Ooh, that's going to be a good map. A group of officers tried to kill Hitler, but also as many other uh, high-ranking officers as they could. We wanted to design that map for multiple play styles. The That's really the map, cool. There's a lot of sniper lanes there, but if you work your way through the middle spaces and through some of these other um, different bunkers, you're gonna have a lot of run and gun, you're gonna have a lot of shotgun. Boom, even if you're sort of not it's really interested in the multiplayer so much, I think that map should be really aesthetically cool. In the Czech Republic. It's the assassination attempt of the second Han of Hitler. He was in charge of controlling the city of Prague. So it's an urban map, but this map has a lot of height variation as well as some really strong, tight interiors that are going to give a real wide variety of gameplay. Zombies, please. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll We're stop really asking now. Bringing back a Modern Warfare 3 favorite map, Resistance, oh, my major. which is called Occupation in our game. It's set in Paris. But that was so iconic to the Resistance movement that it was important for us to have that map. Is on the neighborhood of uh, Montmartre. Uh, so you can actually see the Eiffel Tower in the distance. Mm. Long sight lines, so you get a lot of play with mountain division, and you can bring out your LMGs, put them up on ledges. It's still a really fun map. Of course, we've got a brand new war mode called Operation Oh, Intercept. I thought I was going to say zombies. And this places you right in the heart of the FFI, or the French Forces of the Interior. The great thing about war mode is we really get to try things that are really new and unique that you haven't seen before. Fans are going to be excited about the mechanics in war mode and how they coincide with the theme of the map. Oh. Your first objective is to rescue your resistance fighters. After that, you capture some radio equipment and you lead the attack. Here we go. And the next chapter in Nazi Zombies, The Darkest Shore, the most terrifying chapter we've brought to date. The Darkest Shore? for this next chapter in the game. Our characters, they've uh, received intel about the movement of Dr. Straub. Oh. He's gone to this foggy island just north of Germany. We really wanted to play with something new in this map. We, we wanted to play with this idea of what happens when fog rolls in. Oh no! You can't see them until they're no! feet away from you. <laughs> it's really creepy. There's a sense of things that could come out from the fog. Are you serious? The sure is that we have a new weapon called the Ripsaw. My favorite weapon in the game thus far. It is a combination buzzsaw, gun, and it handles zombies up close and at a distance. 
We've gotten experimental with some of the uh, the gameplay here, and we've created a new zombie. This is Ooh. a zombie Ooh. that is clever. That is strategic. It is uh, one of the scariest creations that I've ever seen. I'm gonna let the trailer run here, but in this DLC package. And this is something that we put a lot of heart and soul into, so it's really important to us that these maps will deliver on fans' high expectations. <sighs> We're looking forward to the next DLCs because we get to talk about different phases of the conflict and explore different parts of the world. It's the biggest, most exciting DLC we've ever offered. Hell yeah. But... And we can't wait for you to get your hands on The Resistance. Cool, yeah, January 30th, Resistance DLC Pack 1. Let me just check the name of it. Yeah. The Darkest Shore. Bruh. I reckon I'm going to do a full breakdown of this in another video, but we will do a little one now, okay? Because I just want to go back. I just want... I just have to go back to... Let's see, how deep into the trailer is this? It starts off sort of talking about it around about 3 minutes and 15 seconds. They jump into it and they just go... And the next chapter... The next chapter... Nazi zombies, the darkest shore. The darkest shore. The most terrifying chapter we brought to date. That's fine. And it looks nice. And it looks cinematic. But it looks a bit foggy. And then For this Cameron Dayton the game, says... Uh, received intel They've found intel about, about Dr. Straub. Dr. Straub. Fine. I'm He's cool gone with that. to this foggy island just north of Germany. But then... We really wanted to play with something new in this map. We, we wanted to play with this idea of what happens when fog rolls in. That's not new. You that's not new. Until they're that's not, that's away. just... It's really creepy. There's a sense Hello? of things that could come out no. from the fog. <laughs> For the Darkest Shore is that when we have a new weapon called the Ripsaw. My favorite weapon in the game thus far. It is a combination buzzsaw gun and it handles zombies up close and at a distance. We've got I'm sorry. experimental with some of the I'm uh, sorry. gameplay here. Which way around in my headphones go? I'm sorry. Zombie. This is a zombie that is clever. I'm sorry! You said you wanted to play with something new. So you rolled in the fog? Bruh. <laughs> I don't know if that is an intentional goof, but holy guacamole, it's a goof. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand their thinking of... That being, I, fine, fine. Maybe they're just meaning new for them. Maybe they're not meaning any of the other zombies we've ever had. Transit, Origins, all the other freaking foggy maps. I mean, that's the most foggy for goodness sake, kind of. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little carried away, but like seriously, I, I just think that's a little bit weird. I mean, the map looks kind of cool, but also fog is just annoying. So I guess we'll see how that goes anyway. I'm going to do a full breakdown in a separate video, but for now, I've been Mr. Awfulfuls. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this reaction. I don't really know what to think. I mean, I guess it's going to be cool, and it looks quite bright, which is nice. I like bright maps, but I don't know, man. I mean, it's an island. Is this like a Zetsubo, uh, but for DLC 1 attempt? I don't know. Anyway, like I think I said at the beginning of the video, I'm doing a giveaway with Elgato right now. Just want to quickly mention you can win an HD60S, which is what I use to record all my videos. Link to that in the description down below. And the last thing I'll say in this video is that the t-shirts, the time tees with the timeline on them, they have sold out, but we still do have some socks left. So if you want a pair of waffle socks, it's your last chance. They are selling out very shortly. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Links in the description down below. Anyway, I'm Mr. Off Waffles. Drop a like if you've enjoyed, like I've said, and I will see you in my full breakdown, which I'll probably have linked on the screen right about now, somewhere in my hands, in this box, as soon as it's uploaded, okay?